Hi, welcome to the introduction to Cisco certifications or Cisco certs. My name is Joe Clark. I'm a distinguished engineer here at Cisco in our learning and certifications group. And I'm really excited you've decided to explore this opportunity of getting certified with Cisco. Whether or not you're currently in IT or you just think this might be something that's interesting to you, you can certainly agree that technology has taken over the world. If you're not in currently in IT, you're probably interacting with your phone, with a computer, with a tablet. You're doing something uh, that is touching the world of IT, that is touching the internet. And it is that networking, especially in the times that we live in, that allows us to continue to remain connected to people. And it's that interconnectivity that has driven new forms of connectivity, new forms of interacting with people. Uh, and that's only getting more and more prevalent. It's, it's only permeating into more and more areas. So you think, for example, uh, just work, just general. Typically, I went to the office. Now I work here at home. Uh, and I still need to be connected to the people I work with. I need to be connected to the data, the, the documents, um, the, the elements of, of work at Cisco in order to do my job. I need to be able to connect to that securely. I need to be able to connect to that and get the kind of performance that I would expect if I went into the office. So you can see that the te technology, even in companies, even in organizations where technology wasn't a key thing, it's becoming a important, a critical means of, of getting around today, of getting by today, of innovating and being truly successful today. And so that is one of the reasons why we need a, a community, a rich community, a growing community of certified individuals people that are able to help this digital transformation, help people who might not be there in terms of their understanding of technology or their understanding of how technology can best work for them, how they can help them get over that divide and make technology truly successful. Speaking of which, if you're not in IT and if you're thinking, Joe, your pitch sounded good, is IT the right fit for you? I myself, I, I didn't start out in IT at a university perspective. I was more into um, biology, genetics, uh, but I did enjoy solving tough problems. It was always that, what does this mean or how do, how do I understand or how does that work exactly? And, and it was that, that love at the time of that science of biology and, and understanding how uh, the, the, the different uh, genetic functions, uh, genotypes kind of work together, um, that kind of then led me into computers. I get this computer for uh, for graduation and I'm, I'm starting to, to experiment with this and see what I can, uh, I'd like to say learn, but actually break. And then it's how do I fix that breakage? And when I came to Cisco, I came into our technical assistance center, essentially our customer support, technical support, and I just thrived in that area. So if you like saying, well, here's the problem. We don't really know what the solution is going to be yet, but here's the problem. And if you want to be that person solving the problem, then IT might be right for you. In this day and age, you know that security in this world of the internet, security and not just like protecting access to, to assets or protecting asset, uh, access to data, but also protecting one's privacy, your privacy on the internet, my privacy on the internet. There is a great need for people who understand that, who can think like the, the hackers out there, who can think like the people who want to either break into things or socially engineer their way into things, how we can build better defenses to protect our data and to protect our privacy. And that leads into being that cyber detective. How do you think like those hackers? How do you think one step ahead of them so that you're able to uh, defend and you're able to defeat those attacks sometimes before they even get serious? I mentioned this in the work example I gave. If you love being part of that interconnection, if you like this idea of, you know, when I was home and I couldn't see people in person, I was still able to connect with them. And it was through that internet, it was through that, that, that social networking that I was able to, to kind of keep my sanity, then IT can be right for you. 
you can be the person who's thinking up those next that next wave of technology or making sure that kind of of interconnecting that personal interconnecting of technology is working for the people who need it.